Now we have installed the systems. Now we have to connect it. So in connecting the systems, we are using cables. The cables, okay, we have already discussed in our previous units. So you can refer from there different type of cables. So cables are used to connect multiple PV modules in combination to generate the desired voltage and current. So for carrying out the interconnection, the installer must check the maximum system voltage as per the installation and follow adjustment measures accordingly to match output requirement. Because the maximum voltage that has to be considered while selecting the, the install uh, connecting devices like the cable. So we have to select the cable like for example, the cable we are selecting that it should be of the sufficient uh, uh, thickness. Which our system has to face. So we have to consider the maximum maximum limit of the voltage. So next uh, consideration is the installer should recommend. Uh, sorry, use the recommended cable to generate maximum voltage. Okay, means only the recommended cable that should be used. So from the quality purpose and the safety reasons as well. And uh, next consideration is that uh, installer should use recommended material of solar cable and plug for electrical connection. And last one is that ensure that junction box is covered. Means the junction box that should be covered. Okay, so here we are discussing the function, the interconnection using cables. We are connecting the different components and we are using the cables, then we, we should be selecting the standard products which are recommended. Okay, for cabling, the following rules listed, they must be followed. So required length of cable shall be cut and terminals to be crimped. The next wire size shall be increased as the length of the cable increases. Then all exposed wiring must be in conduit, okay, or the casing and capping type. Means we, we shall cover it. So AC and DC cables should be installed in separate conduits or ensure our enclosures and they should be labeled in separate uh, enclosing the closures. They shall be used and we should label it. Now where is the AC cable? Where is DC cable? Okay, then wiring through roofing must be waterproof. Then cable should be laid in shadow areas where possible and they should not impede rain water runoff. That also is a consideration. It's rain water. So there should not be any obstruction from our cables to this uh, rainwater system as well. The next where the wiring is through flammable material. Okay, like this is one example, the thatched roof. They must be in a metal conduit for the safety reasons. Okay, so metal, the covering conduit, there should be a metal. So for roof mounted installations, fix cables to the roof support using suitable fastenings. We should fix the cables. No type of loose uh, bounding or loose connections, proper fixing on the roof. And cables, fasteners, and cable ties should be weather resistant. Okay, because the weather, weather conditions, uh, usually it is in the open. So if a metallic part is there and it is very prone to corrosion, then what will happen very soon? It will, due to corrosion, it will degrade. Then our purpose, that one won't be solved. Quality will be compromised. System won't be reliable for a long time. Okay, then next, cables should stay away from lightning conductors. Okay, lightning conductors, they are already, already carrying, carrying high charge. Okay, so they should be isolated. So avoid sharp edges and metal mechanical damage to cable insulation. The next is use proper recommended tools and follow cable termin termination guidelines. Proper guidelines how to make these connections, how to terminate the cable. We should take care of them. 
the cable termin termination should be either crimped or soldered to suit terminal design for the crimping the ending the termination of this cable that should be very proper next coming to interconnection of components so the components could be like the junction box and controller and battery okay so these components while connecting to the pv modules okay so first of all the installer will connect these components then check the functioning of the modules after connection so here is how to connect junction box and pv module i just moment i am showing yes interconnection of junction box and pv modules so in the diagram we can see first step open the junction box of the module so that the junction box is there and it is being opened then take the cable with the correct polarity positive negative be very careful polarity is the right where we are connecting it next step we have to connect the module cable then close the junction box for isolation we have seen proper covering proper isolation so install spare fuse to avoid any short circuit as per the company policy now next is interconnection of charge controller and pv module so for interconnection between solar modules and the charge controllers some general installation guidelines which should be followed they are like the first one is that minimum wire length must be used to avoid dc voltage drop because more length more resistance and more voltage drop so as to minimize the voltage drop length must be minimized so no loose connection we have seen what happens in case of a loose connection then different size of conductor for series and parallel connections and from junction box to the battery must be used get to avoid the systems voltage from dropping so here in the diagrammatic view we can see the steps which are used for interconnecting charge controller and the pv module so it begins with connection of all modules in series and parallel solar modules because that directly affects voltage the current series and parallel combination okay that is also a detailed discussion is being done there and uh, it is available there in the uh, previous uh, uh, lectures sir so that is uploaded here you can check that for reference so next open the fuse junction boxes and remove the fuses provided inside the junction box next connect battery positive and negative of the charge controller to the battery bank after that connect spv1 negative spv1 positive to the charge controller means the terminals of the solar panel you have to connect to the charge controller so insert and replace all the fuses of junction boxes so after connecting all the cables to charge controller and to the battery so battery connections must be given first to the charge controller the charge controller will be damaged if the solar pv array is connected first and then the battery bank okay so first connect the charge uh, this battery to the charge controller after that the uh, solar panel is connected with the charge controller so another precaution is that switch of mcb of charge controller before any connection that mcb should be off and mcb should be on when all the connections are thoroughly checked and fuses are replaced in the junction box fuse so what is the use of the fuse to avoid a prevent over voltage over current or any unfavorable condition so next do not short negative terminals of the system the next all the positive and negative wires will run separately from the junction box
a precaution for interconnecting the components. So the panel installer must ensure that modules with similar MPP current, maximum power point current, are interconnected in series string to avoid losses due to mismatching of modules. Okay, then another is that interconnect module connectors under open circuit. Okay, so module, all the connections should be under open circuit. Load should not be there. Current should not be flowing also. Okay, for modules without connectors, we shall use suitable clamp terminals, strain relief and waterproof cable feed though when connecting cables to the module junction box. So strain relief waterproof cable. Can ensure that the junction box cover is sealed and watertight. Because it has to face the rain conditions. So it should be properly sealed. So no, do not disconnect module connectors under load. So it should be on no load or the open circuit case. So before disconnected module connectors, turn off the inverter and trip the DC circuit breaker to isolate load. The load should be isolated. Okay, by using the isolator, just we have discussed a few times, some time ago. Okay, the module connectors must be disconnected under open circuit voltage. Okay, then measure string open circuit voltage before connecting in parallel with other string. Okay, only then we can connect it. Similar voltage. After that, ensure that the measurement of string current voltage characteristics ensure that string maximum power point voltage and current are matched within specified limit. So the voltage and current at maximum power. Okay, on the curve we have seen that. What is the corresponding voltage and what is the corresponding current at the maximum power point? So it should be within specified limits. So ensure that the string open circuit voltages are matched within specified limit. In the voltage that should be under specified limit. So next precaution is that ensure that fuses, blocking diode and DC surge lighting protection devices are installed and wired inside the combiner box. This proper protection should be there. Then when connecting DC main cable into the combiner box, ensure that combiner box is isolated from PV string or array to avoid high risk of arc because of DC power input. So this is the cable which we are connecting the DC cable, so it is getting power. So at the time of installation, the power should not be there. So it should be properly isolated. Okay, from the solar panels. The solar panels should not provide supply any current during installation, otherwise there is a risk of electric shock. Then ensure ease of access for interconnections and maintenance of string or array combiner boxes while installing the boxes. So access for interconnection, that should be easy. And then uh, when connecting DC main cable into inverter DC input, ensure that the inverter DC input is isolated using a DC circuit breaker. This is similar thing, just as the supply should not be reaching or should not be there on the terminal or during installation there should be no type of electric current flowing proper isolation we shall check this is for the safety of the installer as well from electric shop okay today we will discuss till here only next topic we will discuss in our next class